The Mertz Glacier, described by one scientist as a loose tooth waiting to break free from Antarctica. 1,300 feet thick, 48 miles long, it didn't melt due to global warming. Instead, it was knocked loose by a giant floating iceberg. The Mertz Glacier used to stick out into the sea around 1,500 miles south of Tasmania. Over the years, satellite pictures have shown the giant B9B iceberg approaching the glacier from the east. It collided with the Mertz, opening up cracks in the base of the peninsula. The ice broke free on about the 12th of February. So we want to know how long it'll take for the icebergs to clear the area, and then we'll look at where they go. It's a once in 50 to 100 years event. The ice will block a section of the ocean where very cold, dense water sinks to the seabed. This helps drive the circulation of ocean currents. But British experts dismiss suggestions it'll cause major changes to weather patterns. The reason that this iceberg has been studied so intensively is to get more information about how these icebergs uh, impact locally on the physical uh, characteristics of the ocean, on the biological characteristics of the ocean. I think on larger scales, um, it's not likely to have uh, a, a very major impact on the global climate system. Scientists will be looking closely at the impact on wildlife and they'll again be redrawing their maps of this changing part of the world. Tom Simons, BBC News.